Alright then gang, so in the last video we encountered this little problem right here. When we go to forward slash contact or forward slash about, we get the about component and we get the contact component, but we also get this one tacked on at the end as well, the individual post component. And that's because in this case, the contact URL right here, it matches this route for forward slash contact, but it also matches this route for forward slash post ID, because who's to say that forward slash contact is not a post ID? There's nothing here to say that, hey, our post ID has to be a number or it can't be contact. So it's interpreting forward slash contact as a post ID as well as this thing right here. So what we need is a way to only load up one of the two, either this if it's contact or this if it's some other kind of post ID route. Now, one way to combat this would be to change this to forward slash posts, then forward slash the post ID, because obviously we wouldn't say forward slash posts, forward slash contact. Then we'd have to update our links right here to say forward slash posts, forward slash then the post ID, and this will work, and I'll show you that. If we save that now and we go to the contact page, we no longer see that other thing. And if we go to about, we no longer see it. But if we go to home and then click on one of these, then we go to forward slash posts, forward slash one. So that is working, right? But say you didn't want to restructure your URLs like this. You don't have to do that. Let's get rid of that for now. Take off the posts there and go to the home component and take off the posts there. So how else can we combat this? Well, we can combat this with a switch tag. So let me just import this first of all and set this up. Then I'm going to explain exactly what it does. We're importing it from the React Router DOM. And then what we're going to do is surround all of these routes right here with the switch tag. So let's do that. And we'll close it off afterwards at the bottom. Like so. And then basically what this does is say, OK, at any point in time, I only want one of these routes to take precedence. I don't want to match two at a time, like these two, for example. I only want to match one of them. So now what will happen is when we type something in up here or when we link to something, it will look at the URL right here and then it will start at the top of this route stack right here, the stack of routes, and it will go down. Does it match this one? No. Okay. Does it match this one? No. Does it match this one? Yes, it does. So I'll load this component in and then I'll stop there. I won't try to match the next one. If we didn't have the switch tag, then it would carry on and it would match as many as it could and load all of those components up. But with the switch tag right here, we're only matching the first one we find. In this case, the forward slash contact. So let's save it. Let's try the contact page. This works. About page. This works. So we don't have that problem anymore. All right, so that is how we can use the switch tag to only load up one component.